Hi everyone, in this episode we are going to be talking about Back to Eden's mulching the garden. That's what I'm doing today. It's October 7th. Come along with me. Hi everyone, we have a great free mulch resource that was given to us uh, last year and it's been sitting and aging for a little while. So we went down and got a load. It's at our other place and we got quite a bit down there but it's great when you can get a free resource so make sure you check that out in your area. If you've got a company coming around and just wanting to get rid of their mulch um, and we just happen to be in the right place at the right time. So I want to just tell you I watched that Back to Eden's uh, video and this really um, this really got me thinking and it's a really a smart concept. What I did here in my garden, and I'll show you here in a minute, um, uh, this is kind of backbreaking work, but let's me, let me show you what we've done. Hi guys, hey it's Diane. Check out all this beautiful wood chips. Wood chips that have been decomposing for some time now and they're going to be going on my garden. So let's get started. I'll show you what I'm doing here. Pretty simple. We've, we've got this free resource here. Uh, we, there was a company that needed to unload some wood chips and we just happened to be in the right area. So we got quite a few of these and I hope to be bringing a couple more loads here to put out in our the garden and in a couple other areas because I want to start a couple new beds too. and. This stuff is just gold. It's great stuff. And I hope if you can find that resource in your area that you'll get some wood chips in place on your garden too. You know, it's, it's, it's very, like I said, it's very beneficial. And never am going to till the garden again. I'm not going to till ever again. Won't need to. Um, as, I, as I spread out these layers, the garden each year and as it breaks down we'll never have to till again and I think that's a great thing you don't really want to disturb the soil anyway you because there's a lot of beneficials in the soil the earthworms all the worms makes sense because when you till your garden then you're throwing up weed seeds weed seeds are coming to the surface and then then you got a weedy garden this is going to help keep the weeds down retain moisture and be in time it's going to add so much nutrition to your soil. It's going to be airy and the roots are just going to love it with your plants. So let's get, I'll show you what i done today. We spread leaves down first, no tilling at, at all and then we're going to be putting this, we're putting this uh, wood mulch down and it has aged for a while so it should be wonderful stuff. But I'm doing it here. I'm getting it off this trailer. Got this much done today. And it's kind of backbreaking work, but it's going to be so worth it for next year. Um, we're probably going to do a couple more loads. I want to do a couple more areas here um, just to expand maybe my garden next year. I'm kind of excited about that, expanding the garden. But let me just go check this stuff out. I just want you to look at it here. There is some bigger chunks in there, but I'm not too concerned of it. It's even started to compost. So I think it's going to be great stuff for the garden. What do you think? I'm not too worried about the bigger stuff in there at all. In time, it will decompose. And I am pulling out the real big stuff and throwing it at the side. But like I said, I we're putting leaves down first and then we're mulching it. And it's pretty thick. Um, I want to get it as thick as I possibly can. Um, next year I'll just probably plant transplants in here. I'm not going to be planting any seeds. Probably maybe a few. Maybe a few seeds. But when you plant the seeds you got to dig, dig down in the soil. And plant them in the soil. And brush the, the bark aside. until, and, and brush the wood chips aside until the plants come up. Then you can you know, spread the mulch around them. So I'm really excited. The area down here, I still got to get some leaves. Once I get some leaves down, then we're going to finish up here. And then we'll go get some more loads. But if you got a place where you get a good, if you if you know where you can get some free mulch, because there is a lot of places now that have free mulch. So check it out uh, and just enjoy because this is going to be a wonderful garden. I just got a really good feeling about it. 
Um, it's also going to keep the weeds down. It's going to retain the moisture. And it's a spongy like ground now. I'm going to put enough down that maybe next year I can skip a year. Um, we'll see how it goes, how much this breaks down. But I just wanted to share that with you guys today. Um, I love that that video was really great. If you haven't seen it, I'll have a link in the description box. Back to Eden. And I just think it's a wonderful thing to do, you know, if you, if you got the wood chips. And you can also use other forms. I also got cardboard over there down to kind of help with the weeds. I'm spreading the mulch over that. You can also do grass clippings, then your mulch. You can also, you know, do straw, hay, whatever you want to use, you know, to mulch your garden with. Whatever source you have, you can use newspaper to put down, you know, you name it. I think tomorrow I'm going to leave this for tomorrow because I'm going to try to get some more leaves in the garden. And you guys take care. Uh, we'll see you soon. Please comment, rate this video, and let me know if you got any questions. Bye.